okay, okay. No. No. I'm using the cheating rules. No. No. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> we were like three moves in. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you. What's up, guys? It is another week. So you know what that means? Another video. <laughs> So, we're actually at an exciting event this weekend. What? Glass. Yep, it's, uh, the third annual Glass Animation Festival. Um, we've helped out all three, or oh, I have. Stevie's done two years, but I've done all three years. Um, and it's been really fun. Today is day three, technically Stevie's first This day. is my first day. I'm only volunteering on Saturday and Sunday, but um, Zach's been volunteering since day one. Yep. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so um, a little bit later we'll show you guys the stuff that I did on day two. Day one there wasn't a lot of stuff I could show because it was screenings and you can't really film in a screening so I don't have a lot of stuff on that but day two I do have a little bit of stuff. Friday. I'm um, sorry. It's been a long couple of days. It's Friday. Uh, it is the start of the day two of glass animation. You see, I am uh, volunteering. I am the jury coordinator. Yesterday was the first day, but it was mostly screenings and me working and stuff, so there wasn't a lot to film. But today is panels and stuff, so I'm about to go into the first one. It's going to be really cool. I'll let you guys know how it went. I'll put a little clip in here. Um, this one, the content isn't exactly vlog appropriate, even though it's amazing, so I definitely recommend checking it out. If I can find some clips, I'll put them in there, just a little snippet and parts of um, the Q&A and stuff that's happening afterwards, but it's going to be really cool. Um, I'll mostly be by myself today, maybe my dad might be in a few things, but tomorrow uh, Stevie will be here. So here is to day two of Glass Animations. <laughs> That was Sabako Kabuki. Um, she was awesome. All her stuff is really cool and interesting. It's very personal stuff. And she is like a feminist icon, even though she doesn't see herself that way, which is amazing. She's super cool. Definitely check her out. The next one is from the people that made Book of Life. So uh, I'll show some stuff from that here in a little bit. Um, and they're really cool. And the name of this panel is called The Tacos of Success Are Dripping With Failure Sauce, which is totally in my wheelhouse of like stuff I believe in. It takes a lot of failing to be successful. So let's check it out. So our guest today is what was happening. Frida Kahlo and Mary Blair had a wild weekend in Tijuana. <laughs> So, uh, hello you guys, uh, this is awesome. So I'm going to talk for 45 minutes, and then uh, we're doing 15 minutes of q and uh, I apologize, I'm gonna, I'm, I, when I talk about studios, I get really angry and I curse a lot. <laughs> so right there with me. Uh, we're all family now, because we're all in this room together. And so, please don't repeat some of the crazy stuff I'm going to say. <laughs> Keep dirty laundry in the family, okay? All right, guys, so I wanted to kind of fill you in on what was going on. Unfortunately, in the last two panels, I couldn't uh, record, um, and then I've been running around working and stuff. But uh, the first panel, um, which hopefully you'll see a little bit of, was from the Book of Life people, and it was it was amazing. It was Jorge Gutierrez. Um, his wife wasn't there, but it was super fun. He was amazing. He told us all of these stories about his dad and his grandpa and how they've kind of informed all of the stuff that he has done um, from El Tigre to Book of Life and then this new one he's doing, Son of Jaguar, all of which are really cool and I hope you guys check those out. It was really, really fun. He's working with Google Spotlight for Son of Jaguar to do a VR and 3D video um, for Son of Jaguar. And then after that was the big one that everyone was excited for, which was uh, the Lord and Miller panel. And so they talked about everything from Claudia and the Chance of Meatballs to Clone High uh, to the 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Um, but they also dropped a big bomb on us, which is crazy. Those guys are responsible for like even the Lego movie, which is amazing. They dropped a big bomb on us. You know they were working on the Han Solo movie. Um, but then all of that weird stuff happened, then they left the project, and they announced here that 
they are not going to be credited as directors. They decided themselves to take their name off um, and they're only going to be uh, kind of named as executive producers. They didn't say what's going to happen with the director spot. Obviously, probably Ron Howard, but that's really big and it's crazy. I wish I could have showed you guys that. They're wonderful people and they're really fun and they have a lot of ideas about collaborating and working with people and always bettering yourself and they referenced a lot of stuff that um, Jorge Gutierrez said, which is awesome. So uh, hopefully you can get a little clip of, of Jorge in here. Um, and it was great. You guys should have been here. So yeah, so come along on the today, journey. Yeah, today we're at the BBC, the David Brower Center, to do a bunch of panels and stuff. So we'll show you some stuff from that, some Nickelodeon and Pixar stuff in there. And yeah, it'll be cool. Alrighty, let's get to it. <laughs> I can tell you how many times, most often, I'm asked to animate something that I've never animated before. I mean, I spent nine months animating Destiny on Dory. I'd never animated a shark, a whale shark before. I, you know, I don't know all those physics. I, you know, so so much of what we do comes. You have to draw out pieces of yourself and be like, okay, the physics of the character and in this moment. How do I inject a piece of me? How do I make this original? How do I? Make it look like this is a really great decision to cast me on the shot because I brought something different to the table. This is Zachary. He's very important. He has a pink folder at the Gloss Animation. <laughs> very important person here. Super successful alum, Celestina Marina and Lisa Vandenberg. Um, they're two board artists that have gone through the program in 13 and 14, I think. Yeah, so they've been working for a while. And um, we'll just jump right in. I still wanted to make movies, so when it came time to like think about what I was going to do with the rest of my life, I thought, oh, like well, with animation, you can draw your movies, and um, and it was it just seemed like the perfect combination of like everything. Let Paul go, and no one gets hurt. Oh, except for that guy. So, how do I get down from here? Oh, I think it's good. Um, I mean, I think anything I make, if I can make one person laugh, including myself, then it's worth it. But, um, so thank you guys for laughing. It's a video. <laughs> Nickelodeon Mixer having some drinks and playing some games. So fun. We got Nickelodeon napkins. <laughs> and Nickelodeon pillows. <laughs> I've done a lot of stuff. Um, we're gonna jump on and finish out our last day in this super fun animation festival. Yes. Stay tuned.
David Bowerman Center. No. East Bay Media Center. <laughs> I got confused. Yeah. Oh, I, went to I was at the David Brower okay, again. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and at the cinema right here. I was at the East Bay Media Center and yeah. we saw, oh, there's like a workshop that we did. It was like drawing and I somehow got sucked into doing it, but it was really fun, even though I don't know how to draw. But it was really cool, very creative. Yeah. Um, and then there was a few talks and shorts. Yeah. Um, and I was at the David Brower. There was a bunch of talks, some of them I couldn't film, so I didn't obviously have that, but um, we'll put in uh, the beginning. The first thing of the day was the um, Tonko House. All has changed. Like back at Pixar, I was an animator, and then um, and here at Tonko House, I'm telling my own story, and then that's a huge shift. And um, that was just so natural to me because, as you saw from my previous films, I can always work myself up to this point. So it was so just natural transition. So um, I don't know, like at Pixar. At the time, I had that, uh, its own balance. And they were super fun. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah. I miss them. So definitely check them out. They're Berkeley locals. Um, the two people that started it uh, used to work at Pixar, and they left to do this. And they're nice. great people. They're really fun. Um, one of them, Eric, he was on one of my juries, so I was running around with him. Um, but it has been really fun. Uh, we're gonna go to the Shattuck here in a bit to see a screening, and then later tonight is the award ceremony for everything. It's been a crazy four days. I'm exhausted. Um, and I it was fun. Yeah, I'm also working on a lot of things. Hopefully next video I can tell you what I've been working on, why yeah. I've also been here. Uh, it's really big. I, I put a tweet out about it. Um, it's a really big commission thing that I'm doing. Um, and also, this festival has got me super, super excited to like start working on some animation. So, my sister, who was on an episode, it'll be in the corner of the episode. Um, she's going to work with me to, we're going to work on a short. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be a long process. So you may not hear anything about it for a long time after this, but we're going to work on that. Um, and I decided on some other projects I'm going to work on because of this has really inspired me. So. Yeah, it's been a really great time so far. <clears throat> Very inspirational and lots of cre uh, creative juices flowing within, you know, the community. I don't know. Yeah. It's really fun. It's nice being around, you know. International artists doing cool stuff. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get to the next stop. Yeah, let's go. <gasps> Look how cute. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That's fun. It's a little kid in a sombrero hat. We just did the Google Spotlight Stories uh, VR. I did the Jorge Gutierrez Son of Jaguar. And I did a Rain or Shine. It was super cute. Yeah. <laughs> the Jorge Gutierrez one is so fun. You're a ghost and you're following this fight that's going on. <laughs> it was super cute. So this is my actually my first time ever doing VR. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty interesting. I was standing yeah. up while doing it. I didn't yeah. have the the knee chair is sitting down, but it's okay. Yeah. I didn't fall. I did get twisted with the cord around me. Yeah, but I made it and it was super cute. It was super fun. Yeah, I know character. mine. I don't know about yours. I think both of them are on YouTube. They should be or they're available on your phones and you can do the 360 video. But we highly recommend, I, that's from, from what I've heard from being here, that you do the VR version. That's the optimal version. Yeah. Uh, but mine was so fun and like very Jorge Gutierrez like style. Um, there was a El Tigre cameo, which is <laughs> great. Uh, I know he talked in his presentation, um, and I don't know if I talked about this earlier. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, but he likes to kind of interweave things. So in El Tigre, there's a character that later appears in Book of Life. So Book of Life and El Tigre are in like a semi-shared shared universe. And with that El Tigre thing in Son of Jaguar, it's like a another little shared nice. connection, which is really funny. Um, my favorite thing from that, which I was just telling Stevie, is there's a part where the good guy's <laughs> winning 
and then they say, you mess with one bean, you mess with the whole burrito. <laughs> and it made me laugh really hard. I thought it was cute. Oh, that was a good, that's a good, that's like a good little saying. Like, I feel like I have to use that. And when I do <laughs> use it, I'm gonna be like, yes. Yeah. And then no one's gonna really like understand why I'm so excited that I use it, but it's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, I'll try to put a little footage somewhere in this or after this of- Or link them, for sure link or, the Yeah, I'll sure, for sure link them. Cause I met Jorge and he's the business. Um, I didn't meet his wife, which was disappointing because she is like an equal split of that duo that's made those movies and that show and everything. Um, but that was fun. And you like yours? With the... Yes, it was super cute. It was three. I mean, obviously, it was three. <laughs> what did you do? Oh my god. It was about this little girl and she got these sunglasses in the mail. She was really excited to see them or put them on. Mm -hmm. But they were like, every time she put them on, like, rain would go over her. <laughs> so she was really sad. So she would take them off and then do little things with her friends all over around the city. Yeah. And it was really cute. It's really fun. You should watch it. Most definitely check it out. Yeah. VR is the future. Do it. I mean, <laughs> maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. But these are cute. <laughs> Google Spotlights is fun. Um, you should check them out. They are on your phones. Do it. Hello! It's the end of the video. We guys, yeah. we hope you guys enjoyed the four-day yeah. festival. Even though we really only showed you three. <laughs> um, but also, sorry this is late. <laughs> I put a tweet out just to let you guys know. But it's Sunday right now and we're filming. So we'll go up Monday. So look out for that. It should be real fun. Um, the lighting's real nice right now. <laughs> um, make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, um, Make sure to check it out next year if you're in San Francisco area. Yeah. Um, it's an awesome festival. Yeah. It's through. It's been its third year, so next year will be the fourth. Yeah. So. Even if you don't live around here, we highly recommend coming out. It's an international festival, so it would be worth doing. Yeah, most definitely. Um, like always, else? like, comment, <laughs> and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think, what we should do next time. Um, we'll try to do something else real fun. Check out the blog. It's gonna be a new blog post. New blog post. Um, we'll both kind of write it, I think. I think yes. that's probably beneficial. Um, yeah, and then we will see you guys next week. See you next week. See Bye. you, mates.